too. It's a beat up Buick, and these guys just have it going. You know, they have their life set for them. And at that moment, I started thinking about life. And so this was my philosophy on life. Is it wrong for me to say I found the meaning of life at the age of 16 in a school parking lot beside a Buick that was beaten up? I saw materialism in its essence slowly creeping up. Teens such as myself in cars more expensive than a house with the cool gray jays, fresh, barely out the box. Locked within a vicious cycle, most locked within a vicious cycle. Is it wrong for me to say I found the meaning of life at the age of 16 in a school parking lot beside a view that was beaten up? Saw materialism and its essence slowly creeping up. Teens such as myself in cars more expensive than a house with the cool gray jays, fresh, barely out the box. Locked within a malicious, locked within a vicious cycle, quite malicious to his disciples. The Jersey Shore religion, parables, the tanning missions with silicone fascinations and uproars of the cancellations. The redefinition of a once great nation, the decline of society and civilization. A microwave, ja a microwave generation, youth search for instant gratification. Drugs, drunks, and a temporary relation or joy through sensation. Seeking empty fulfillment through the hollow shells of a prestigious education. The Ivy League and little supposed college with the white Oxford collars. Stressing over SATs on a Saturday, a day of ease. Do they believe six-figure salaries are the road to peace? Or simply the greed of the eventual disease, the desire for significance and meaningful life? For the path of a man is called a job than a wife. A list of milestones spread far and mile long as we simply move along to continue on in sight. Afraid to leave the light to find the wisdom seen in strife. The reason why we strive is human being for a life. Afraid to even fail so we cheat on a standardized test hoping we could be the best. A constant chatter within class, unable to learn, yet we yearn for acceptance by our peers and no longer have the fear that we could maybe disappear. The hollowed relics of the past, fragile as a crystal swan glass beside a revolver as a storm comes to pass. I must be dreaming as I view the chaotic scene that surrounds me. The sounds of silence, so deafening if death comes beckoning. The call of the world to questioning due to words of afterlife mentioning. I see death lurking, following within the shadows and the stillness of the soul. I can still hear the moans of the goals of the lost souls bound on a road, perdition as a goal. As the soundtrack plays degrading words of supposed idols, we stand idle in front of screens with the centerpiece Bible. Deaf to the screams of poverty, content with the view we see. Comfort is a zone that resembles penal colonies. Born so original, although we die a copy, a product of the school-produced industry that causes creativity to amplify conducively, reduces to civility and leaves us the evil to believe that we truly are trapped within the confines of our very own minds. At times, I wonder why I cry. If every action merely just a lesson in futility. But then, I hear the revolutionists inside of me screaming to be free. So I reframe the mentality and shun the teachings of the beast of the path to world peace begins with the change of personal philosophies. So stand tall for your beliefs and deliver truth, even if your voice <coughs> quivers. And really listen to what I say. Don't just pass me off as another guy with a microphone. Question what you see from unjust acts and mass atrocities. Read more books because education doesn't end with a college degree. Become who you are and read, become who you become who you are and follow through with your dreams. And now I need you all to raise a fist up with me.